Hello everybody, I'm Jessica and today I'm filming an update on my 2022 Pen That palette, which is none other than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I know, it's so original. No one else is panning this palette. Actually, one of the reasons I chose this palette was because a lot of other people have panned it and I just find it fun to compare my progress with the progress of so many others. And this palette is definitely getting old and it's just a fun palette to use. I do still quite love it and enjoy it. We're going on seven months of working on this palette and I'm trying to use as much of this palette as I can this year, not necessarily trying to use up the entire thing. That'd be a little too crazy for me. I'm doing other eyeshadow projects as well. So definitely have my attention spread over quite a few different areas. But we are still making good progress on this one and it's been really fun to just see the usage accumulate on this palette. And I'm really hopeful that in the next five months we can make some big leaps because I'm getting near to the end of this project and I don't want to get complacent and let myself fall off with this palette. Definitely trying to inspire myself, maybe set some new fun goals for myself this month and just find ways to get re-inspired by just reaching for the same palette day in and day out. It can get a little stale sometimes. Here's what my palette was looking like last month. We had our first completely empty pan, which was very exciting. And I set a few goals for myself during this past month to use up Primavera, to use all shades at least two times, and to really focus on the shade Golden Ochre. And here's what my palette is looking like this month. Take a good look at that. There's some exciting things to see. Hopefully you see the big elephant in the room and some other changes as well. Okay, the tripod is a rockin' because butter came a knockin'. Here he is. Hi, baby. What are you doing? You wanna say hi? <laughs> He's in his lovey mood. Butter, you just love this video. I swear he only comes and says hi during the Pan That Palette update. <laughs> I can't neglect him. <laughs> You're feeling camera shy? He just wants to be held. I'm just getting to the good part, Butter. I'm talking about my updates. Can we snuggle later? How do you say no to this baby? Okay, boo boo. Okay, 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 okay. He's so clingy. <laughs> Okay, can I put you down? You mind? Okay, baby. There you go. He's happy now. He, he got some love. That's all he needed. He just needed a little snuggle. We'll get more snuggles soon, butter. Ugh. Hair everywhere. We'll skip over Tempera because that was empty as of the last update and move right over to Golden Ochre. I used Golden Ochre an additional 17 times this month, making for a total of 54 uses during the time of this project. And here's what it's looking like today. It's getting really big in that pan and I even have a little bit of side pan in that shade. So I'm very happy with the progress that I've been able to make on that shade. Golden Ochre is such a light color that I can basically use it as a transition with almost any look. It hardly even shows up on me at all, which I don't love, but it also makes it really easy to use because I can just kind of use it as like a blending shade for any color I'm putting in the crease and just putting it right above the crease and below the brow bone. And it makes for a really smooth transition for a lot of eyeshadow looks. I have it in my look today. Again, you won't be able to tell, but it's like the very first thing in between my brow bone and my crease basically. So yes, I'm very happy with that. I'm wondering if I can finish that shade in the next month. That would probably be a lofty goal, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna really try and reach for that shade as many times as possible. Again, it's super easy to use, won't be hard. And if I can finish another pan by next update, I will feel over the moon excited. We'll go right on over to Vermeer, this shimmer shade. I've been reaching for that quite a bit. I've been using it as a highlight. I have it on my cheeks today as a highlight, though it's very lightly brushed on so you might not be able to see much of it but it is there all the same. I also use this as an inner corner highlight when I think of it or when it fits the look and sometimes on my lid as well. I've used this shade 15 times since the last update making for a total of 77 uses in this project and here's what it's looking like today.
And I definitely hope you will notice that that pan has expanded quite a bit since the last update. I've been reaching for this with a small tapered brush, a highlight brush basically, and applying that on my cheeks almost on a daily basis after I finished the other shimmer in this palette, which we will talk about soon. Oh gosh, I'm spoiling it. I'm also very hopeful that I could continue using Vermeer in that way and finish it by next update. And if I had two empty pans by the next update, I mean, that would just be like panning goals. Like I don't think I've ever made that much progress in an update. Next, we'll move on to Bon Fresco. Here's what it was looking like last month. I've reached for this shade an additional four times since the last update, making for a total of 45 uses in this project. And here's what that pan is looking like today. Four times probably won't give us a big difference in the size of this pan, but hopefully you'll see a little bit of a difference. I would like to focus on that shade eventually, not for the fall so much. I mean, it would be good to use with some pink tones I have in my pan, those eyeshadows. So I would like to try and reach for that one a few more times, just because I know I love it. I know I can get that pan bigger and I would enjoy doing so. So that might be a focus one for me, if not this month, maybe, maybe this month. We'll see, <laughs> we'll, we'll think about it. Moving on to Antique Bronze. I really did make an effort to use this one this month. I had a few of you rooting on for Antique Bronze and kind of giving me tips on how to use it last month, and I really appreciate that. I did embrace it one day as an all-over lid shade, and you're right, it was beautiful. I really did like it. It buffed out really nicely. I topped it with a little bit more of a shimmer just in the center of like this kind of goldy shimmer that I'm also working on, and I really loved how it looked. It was simple, but it was beautiful. I'll insert a picture of it here. I would like to do that a few more times at least. Unfortunately, I only reached for this two times in the past month. Here's what it was looking like last month. With those two uses, I've now used this a total of nine times in this project. And here's what it's looking like this month. And I hope you'll see some kind of difference. I think I accidentally dug my finger into the top of it. So if you see a difference there, that is why I'm very clumsy with my palettes. It happens. Anyone else out there digging their fingernails? And I like having longer nails if they're cooperating, if they're healthy, if they're growing like they are now. And when that happens, I just stick them everywhere. So the casualties of having nice nails. Next, we have Love Letter up here. These shades are basically identical, it kind of bothers me, but this is the one I prefer definitely a lot more. Here's what it was looking like last month. I've used it four times since the last update, making for a total of 21 uses in this project. And here's what it's looking like today. I basically use a fluffy small brush to reach for this now that I have pan in it. I'm just kind of using it as a light dusting most of the time either to deepen up my crease or just add a little bit of warmth to a look. So I don't think you'll see much of a difference in the pan size because I'm using such a fluffy brush, but it is a little bit lower. I hope you might notice that. I'm definitely not gonna try and expand that pan too much, more so because I wanna focus on the shades that I think I can finish up. I tried using this one as a blush and I didn't really enjoy it at all. It was just too much of an effort. I had to mix it with other things. It always looked too dark, too like muddied when I tried to mix it. It just didn't work out. And I have so many beautiful blushes in my collection that I'm not gonna try and, you know, force something like this, even mixing it with Bon Fresco. It really didn't work for me. Tried it, didn't work. What are you gonna do? It's all good. At least I tried, right? We'll continue to work on it as we see fit, at least putting like a usage goal on each month. Our last shade in the top row is Cypress Umber, and I tried to reach for this at least a few times as a liner and as an eyebrow powder. Here's what it was looking like last month, and in the past month, I used it eight additional times, making for a total of 41 uses, and here is what it's looking like today. I don't know if you'll see much of a difference, but I did reach for it. I kind of tended to reach around the pan when I dipped into it because it's very crumbly right at that spot where the edge meets the pan, as well as um, I'm using like detail brushes when I'm dipping into this, and that'll just like totally tear up the powder and kind of waste it. So I don't wanna be wasteful, but I really do enjoy that brown. It's a lovely one, and I think it'll just continue to expand bit by bit. I'm not gonna try and really focus on that shade, just use it as I see fit and as I enjoy it. 
Jumping down to the bottom row, we have Raw Sienna. Since the last update, I used this shade two additional times. That's it. I reached my goal of two and I moved on, mostly because I was focusing on other mattes this month. And here's what that shade was looking like last month. So I've now used this a total of 27 times in this project. And here's what it's looking like today. So with those two uses, I doubt you'll see much of a difference, but at least we know that I used it. I definitely will make this a focus shade soon. I would like to get a big stinking pan on this one, if not use it up. Next, we have Burnt Orange. This was another shade that I really tried to reach for a ton this month. It wasn't an official goal, but I really love this shade and I thought I could make a good dent on it. Here's what the shade was looking like last month. And since the last update, I've used this shade an additional 12 times, making for a total of 57 uses in this project. And here's what it's looking like today. And I'm hoping that with 12 uses, you will see an expansion on this pan. I never know when I show you these things. I have to wait until I do the side by side in my editing. So I'm really hoping to see an expansion in this pan too. We shall see. I'm also gonna try and finish this shade up for sure in the span of this project. I love this shade and I think I could easily empty this pan. We're getting pretty close. I think we could definitely do that. I'll probably focus on this during the month of like October, November times. That fall season is just the best time to wear those warm toned creases and I'll be reaching for it a ton, I'm sure. Butter, since sis, he has to be held like a baby. Okay, he just like perched on me. He seriously got his claws gripped into me. Oh, ow. Can I hold you like a baby? Will that be okay? He wants to be held like a koala. Oh my god, his nails. We need to be trimmed like a week ago. <gasps> Those are fierce. Look at these. Can you see that? Oh my god, they're sharp. They're fierce. People ask why I don't have children. I think he wants his treat. That's what he wants. Can I put you down? Moving on. Okay, so we have our most exciting update next and that is obviously Primavera. My goal is to finish it up and as you can see, we did in fact succeed and it also has that corroded pan that seems to happen with this palette. I'm glad it's not just mine. I don't know what it is, but everyone seems to think it's not a big deal. Here's what Primavera was looking like last month. I used it an additional nine times in the past month to completely use it up, making for a total of 86 uses in this project. And there she is up close, completely empty. The sides are scraped. We have now two empty pans in this palette. I feel like we're getting kind of slow progress on this thing, but at least we are making some big leaps with some empty pans. I don't think I've ever had an empty pan of eyeshadow in my life. So it feels very exciting to have two in here now. Next we have Red Ochre. I actually have this shade all over my lid today as a base and then I topped it with a gold shimmer and I really like how it looked, kind of blended it a little bit into the crease and I thought it was a very kind of easy way to wear this very red brown shade. So I've used it four times in the past month. Here's what Red Ochre was looking like last month. I've used this shade four times since the last update making for a total of 14 uses in this project and here's what it's looking like today. And I think you'll see that the pan is just a smidge bit bigger, not by much, but at least a little bit expanded. And that makes me happy because that one's kind of been sitting for a while, not making much change. Let's move on to Venetian Red. We had pan on that one last month. It was looking like this. I used it just two times since the last update. And we now have a total of 21 uses in this project. And here's what it's looking like today. I doubt you'll see any difference. I think I reached into this once as a blush. I really don't like this shade. It is my least favorite shade, which is funny because I really love Love Letter, but this one, I just feel like behaves differently. Let me know if you've had the same experience or if it's just in my head. I think I just like the tone of this one a little more. It's easier for me to reach for. Yeah, I, that's my preference. So I reached for it twice. I'm gonna continue to reach for it here and there during the course of this project not gonna be focusing on that one. Dirt. Next we have Warm Taupe, and I'm actually really happy with the amount of times I used this shade in the past month. I used it a lot as a contour shade. I would take a smaller detailed face brush and put it right in there at the hollow of my cheek, and if I did it very, very lightly, I did like the effect that I got, but if I was too heavy handed with it, it very quickly looked a little bit crazy, so I had to be really careful. And using it that way, I reached for it 12 additional times in the past month. So here's what it was looking like last month, and 
And even though I reached for it 12 times, I now have a total of 59 uses in this project. And here's what it's looking like today. And I don't think that you'll see much of a difference. I don't notice much of a difference. Again, I'll have to see it when I play the side by side, but I've been using, like I said, a, a face brush, even though it's a small face brush, it's big compared to an eyeshadow brush. And I think we've done a lot of wear down vertically, but not so much across the pan. It's much lower in the pan, but our pan size hasn't expanded much, if that makes any sense. So at least we know we're using it. I'm gonna weigh the palette at the end to see how much product we used in the course of a month. So we will see hopefully a bigger change there, but as far as visually, you might not be able to tell those 12 uses as easily as some of the other shades. And our last shade is Real Gar. This is another one I really made an effort to reach for a few more times this month. Here's what it was looking like in the last update, and I've used it eight additional times since, making for a total of 40 uses in this project. And here's what it's looking like today. And again, just like how it took forever to even hit pan on this shade because it is so pigmented, it's also not showing much difference in the pan size after those eight uses. I don't think it's budged at all. Can you tell at all that there's been eight uses? I don't know that you can, but I think this is another one that I've been using a fluffy brush with. So the difference that is happening is more, you know, making the pan around it deeper, not so much expanding that pan. So there you have it. Those are my updates for my Pan That Palette. I'm actually pretty happy with all of my progress in the past month. Using a Primavera and having another empty pan makes me feel very motivated to keep going, as well as hitting those usage goals on all the other shades, just making sure that I'm dipping into everything. We'll continue to set goals. I'm thinking about what my goals are for now. Let's get a weight on this thing and let you know how much product I used. So last month, this palette was weighing 183.75 grams, and this month we have a new weight of 183.28 grams. So I've used 0.47 grams, almost half a gram of product during the past month, which is a nice jump in my opinion. The previous month, I only had somehow a 0.05 gram difference. That must've been a mistake. And then the month before that had a jump of 0.45 grams, and that's as long as I've been weighing this. So this is my biggest jump yet, and that is very exciting. Let's hope to continue to have that kind of progress as we go through the second half of this project and just continue to gain steam and maintain our focus on this one. My goals for the next month will be to continue to work on Golden Ochre and Vermeer and hopefully finish up those two shades. That might be a little ambitious, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna keep the same goal of using every shade at least two times and my other focus shade for the month, the one that I wanna really expand pan on, will be Raw Sienna. I think that this is just a shade that's been a little bit neglected. I could definitely reach for it more and see a much bigger pan on it by the next update. So those will be my goals. Wish me luck on everything. I can't wait to let you know how we do next month. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my Pan That Palette updates or any of my Project Pan updates. I will link all of my Project Pans in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and say hi, or let me know how your experience has been on this palette or any Project Pan that you're working on. I love hearing from you and I hope you're doing really well and that you're taking care of yourself. Can't wait to see you in my next video.